Hi guys, welcome back to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. Today I'm gonna to be filming a full house cleaning. And no, my house isn't a complete disaster because I clean as I go. I have all my daily and nightly and evening and all that routines posted for you guys if you ever wanna check them out. This is a collab with Lindsay from Lindsay Life and Style. And I've been watching her for, oh goodness, probably about two years. And I think she is like so cute and bubbly and fun. And I'd love for you to head over to her channel once you're done watching mine and check her out. And if you decide to subscribe, please let her know I sent you. If you're new, hi, welcome. My name is Ashley and I'd love for you to just kind of surf my channel and see if you like it, watch some of my videos. I do all sorts because I'd love to have you. Now let's get into the cleaning video. The first place I always start is our master bedroom, so I'm gonna open up the blinds and the curtains and then make our bed. Once our room is picked up, I like to head into the master bathroom and you'll see me climb up on there. I keep all of our cleaning products at the very top of that cabinet. And everything that you're seeing me use is from the Dollar Tree. We have three bathrooms and I like to keep cleaning products in that particular bathroom so I'm not like running around the house searching for them. So I like to buy them from the Dollar Tree so that I can keep them stocked. It's, it's a hard to To clean my mirror, I use that window cleaner and it's from the Dollar Tree. And then my rag that I was holding up is E-Cloth and I'm obsessed with them. If you watch any of my videos, you'll always see me cleaning with them. And this one's made for windows and like mirrors and it leaves it streak free and just perfect. I've never found anything like it. So definitely go down in my um, description box and click on my E-Cloth link and you can see all the products that they sell. Now I'm 
gonna finish up by vacuuming. I do this every single time I clean a room. I do this every single day. I almost do it morning and night. I just love the way it looks. I love the way it makes me feel. And my dog is obsessed with my vacuum. I know you guys love watching him. He attacks, I don't know. I don't know if it's a love hate thing or what, but he loves attacking the vacuum. Those days are gone. I walk and talk while you're. Now you're gonna see me head on into my daughter's room and if you're new, we only have one child and her name's Savannah and she's eight years old and she does have to help out in her room. So almost every time that I film a cleaning video, unless she's gone, like with the, one of the grandmas or with a friend, you'll see her helping me pick up. Um, during the week, she has to make her own bed and clean up after herself. It's just something we've taught her and that's how we're raising her. We had already cleaned her bathroom a few days before, so that's why you didn't watch me clean that. And now I'm going to vacuum her room and then head on to the other side of the house. Now I'm headed into my beauty room and if you're new or coming over from Lindsay's channel, this is where I get ready. I have my whole vanity area, my jewelry's in here, my whole closet and clothes is over there. And then I also have my desk and office area and this is where I work on YouTube videos. Um, I did change this up right after I filmed this video. I had a new office chair come in the mail and I actually show it in my vlog. It's the weekend day in the life that I posted yesterday so definitely go check that out. So of course I'm finishing this room by vacuuming and it's funny as I'm sitting here editing this video I do think I like where my dresser is in this. I don't know. I'm sure I'm going to be rearranging again today because I don't know if I love it the way it is. Um, once I get done vacuuming this bedroom or my beauty room you'll see me head on over into the guest bedroom. I don't clean that out too often. Every other week I dust, I fluff, I keep it clean but I do like to give it a vacuum once a week just so if guests come it's ready to go. Now this is my guest bathroom and I'm going to be cleaning it with the same products. Um, I just have a different set in here for underneath the cabinet. I don't want to lug them to three different bathrooms. Who has time for that? So since they're so cheap, I can keep them in there. 
and you'll see me run out of wipes and I always have a spare behind it. So like when I feel like the wipes are getting low, I go ahead, run to Dollar Tree, get another pack and leave them in there. So when it runs out, I can just immediately grab the next one and we're good to go. Okay, now I'm headed into my kitchen and living room area and it's funny because I watch most YouTubers clean and they start in this area and I don't know why I finish in this area. I think it's because when I'm finished with these I like to mop and when I'm done mopping I want to be done. I don't want to leave footprints so I mop myself into a bedroom and then I stay in there until the floors are dry so I think that's why I do it. But you'll see me take out the trash. And then that's my Dyson Animal Cordless Vacuum and I can just put an attachment on it and I like to vacuum out our trash can drawer and the trash can just to keep it clean. My least favorite chore is the dishes. I just don't like it. I don't even mind loading them, but I despise unloading the dishwasher. I don't know. So that's my problem area. My sink is typically full of dishes until my husband gets home and clears out the dishwasher. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. So right now you're gonna see me. Um, <laughs> of course, when I ran the dishwasher last night, there the sink was so full it didn't all fit, so I had to hand wash. So I'm gonna put those away first because they're dry and then unload the dishwasher.
My kitchen countertops which are granite I like to get my e-cloth it's my kitchen e-cloth I like to wet it down and then I love the smell of this method daily granite so I spray it um, the reason I like to use a wet rag most of the time is because otherwise I feel like sometimes with method um, my floors get sticky or my countertops get sticky so if I use my e-cloth with water it doesn't do that and my e-cloths are made to only clean with water so that's really what's giving its deep clean and sanitizing it and then I use method for the smell oh and I wanted to show you this real fast this is how I make the Olive Garden peach tea and I buy that from Olive Garden and that will make three gallons <laughs> of the peach tea so I do it one gallon at a time and just measure it out and you just pour it into the gallon and shake it up and it is amazing guys I never have a ton to do in our living room. We're one of those people when we're done using something, we put it away so there's never a ton of junk left out and we don't like clutter so we only have what we use or what we need or what we love. Now I will always go in and like dust once a week and then I like to fluff up the sofa and then give everything a good vacuum but as far as like clutter and stuff being out, we just don't have that. I 
up by mopping and I just get the mop head wet and you guys are loving this mop. I had this way before I even ever thought about starting YouTube and I had no idea when I started this channel you guys would go crazy for my mop. Um, all you do is get it wet and it's made to clean and sanitize just with water and that's it. You guys keep asking me how many times do I go back and wet it. It's just that one time for my size house but that gets my whole living room my hallways, my kitchen, my dining room. I absolutely love it. I've never seen streaks. It cleans really well. And then I can literally peel it off and throw it in the washer and I'm good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you're enjoying my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And don't forget when you're done with my video to run over to Lindsay's channel and watch hers. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.